Hey everyone, Dan here. I'm excited to show you how you can use All One Photo Raw hand in hand with Adobe Photoshop. I use Photoshop all the time. I've used it for over 20 years. I think it's a great application and there's still a lot of things I use it for like HDR and Panorama. So I'm going to show you how I use it with Photo Raw. I'm going to do a Panorama in this case. So I've got a series that I shot vertically on a tripod and I want to stitch those together. So I'm just going to grab all those shots. I think there's about seven of them here. And then I'm just going to right click here and browse and select send to Photoshop. Whenever I send a photo from Photo Raw to another application, I get to pick whether I send the original photos without any edits applied, or I can send copies with any of my edits or adjustments applied to them. Most of the time I'm going to pick this top option because any of the adjustments I make I want to see in my other application, but when I work with Photoshop a lot of the times I want to send the originals instead, especially if I'm doing an HDR or a panorama. So I'll select the original option and hit edit. Here in Photoshop, I've merged those together to create one long panorama. Now let me show you how to send a layer from Photoshop to one of the plugins for Photo Raw. First off, make sure you've got the layers selected you want to work on. This photo only has a single layer, but if I have multiple layers, make sure you've got the one selected you want. Then go to the File menu, then to Automate, and right here in the middle you'll see Develop, Effects, and Resize. You can also get to Develop and Effects from the Filter menu right here. Now before I use Developer Effects, I like to convert my layer to a smart object. I'll show you why here. Just right click on your layer that you want to work on and select Convert to Smart Object. The cool thing about working on a smart object is all of your work is saved as a smart filter. Smart filters let you go back and re-edit your settings later. It can be really handy. Let's send this to Effects. Using Develop and Effects as a plugin work just the same as they do when you use it as a standalone application. All the same tools and techniques and features are there. I'm just going to open up my preset drawer and let's add a black and white preset. I want to add kind of an Old West kind of look to this photo. So I'll just scroll down until I find one that I like. There we go. That one works pretty well. You notice how it's added a few things to my stack. I can make adjustments if I want to or if I'm happy I'll just hit the Done button. Back in Photoshop you'll notice how my image now matches. And if we look over here in my layer stack, you'll see underneath the layer is the new smart filter for effects that was added. Now here's the cool part. Like I mentioned before, I can go back and change my settings. All I do is double click. And it takes me right back to effects with the same stack of filters applied. I can now make more adjustments and send it back. Any adjustments I make are stored as instructions inside of Photoshop. Let's say I want to make my sky a little bit darker. I'll just grab the target brightness tool and drag the sky down to make it even more dark. There we go, there's my change. Even any masking or blending options that I use inside of Photo Raw are stored in a re-editable way. And when I'm done in Photoshop, my photo is done and complete and I can see it back here in Browse with the edits from Raw applied on top of it. You really can use Photo Raw and Photoshop hand in hand, either as a way to send your photos to Photoshop or to access development effects and resize inside of Photoshop. Let me show you one more tip if you're a Photoshop user. I'm going to go to my Settings menu, click on the Plugins button, and right here in the middle I can control if the results are applied to a copy of the current layer or the current layer, and I can also have it start with its last two settings if I'm doing several photos in a row. Alright, there you go. That's how to get started using Photoshop and PhotoRod together. Thanks for watching.